Uh, we're going to look at, ahead to a big fight in partnership with uh, William Hill. And that fight would be the return of Anthony Joshua Spencer against Jermaine Franklin. We're less than a month away from it now. What, what are you hearing about AJ? I know you're in this uh, group WhatsApp yeah. thing. <laughs> Is he yeah. still part of it? Are yeah. you still part of it? Of course I am. I'm still oh, part hey, of it. Of course rustler. I am. Um, yeah, no, Anthony Joshua's, you know, just trying to um, rebuild himself. And this is the fight that he's taken against Jermaine Franklin, who's potential banana skin, proved himself a worthy fighter when he boxed Dillian White last time out. A lot of people thought he won, myself included, in that fight. It was, it was a tough one to call, but... We didn't know nothing about Jermaine Franklin, and now we do. He's tough. He takes a good shot. He throws a lot of combinations. Joshua's at this stage where he's in the re rebuilding process, gone over to America, Derek James, new trainer. So he's got to try new things, and they've decided to take this guy. But like I say, it's a, it's a, it's a tough one because Joshua's confidence is obviously at an all-time low. Yeah. Two losses to Alexander Usyk. Yeah. So he's trying to rediscover himself. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tough fight. It's a good fight. It's a lot... Better than what people give it credit for. OK, we'll be right across it come the time. A month away from it, AJ against Jermaine Franklin. We looked ahead to it with William Hill. William Hill, it's who you play with. Terms, conditions apply. You've got to be 18 and over. Be gambleaware.org. Big Fight Preview on Talk Sport with William Hill. It's who you play with. 18 plus, be gambleaware.org. <laughs> I'm looking at some of the messages coming in. Josh Taylor's coming down to London. He's going to get Simon Jordan in a headlock. <laughs> You're not worried about that, are you? What for? No, it was great stuff. Josh, we know what you've got to do. Uh, beat uh, Teofimo, then beat Jack Cattrall, mm -hmm. and then you'll be back on track big time, I'm quite sure. A short time ago, um, Johnny Nelson was on, and he said quite simply, do not rule out that YouTubers are now a big part, legitimately, of the boxing scene. It's boxing snobbery, Benny. It's boxing snobbery, and that's yeah. where the problem is. And we've got to get our head in the right place. Otherwise, we're going to be left in the Stone Age. Wow. So Johnny's saying there, look, people like Jake Paul have arrived, and you damn well better take them seriously because they're here to stay. Top boxing promoter Frank Warren was listening to that. Frank, good afternoon. You're not having that from Johnny, are you? Well, we've already we've already doing it. You know, we uh, we've uh, we put two of our fighters on Jake Paul's show in the states, mm -hmm. um, which was Tommy uh, about a year or so ago, and uh, obviously we were in, we we were involved in the promotion on Sunday. So it's I mean I don't know where he's coming from, and you, you know he's talking about embracing what the what the new media is. Well, you know TikTok's a major driver that drives a lot of it. And uh, if you go on there, you'll see the, 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 the promoters, the promotion company that has the most followers on TikTok in the world is Queensbury. Yeah, Frank, Frank, just quickly, what do you make of Jake Paul coming into boxing? Not just as a boxer, but as a promoter as well. Do you think that it's good for the sport? Do you think he's going to new, bring new eyes to the sport? Well, he's, I think he brings new eyes, but I think you've got to look at you know, deep in it, you can't just say, all right, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go on TikTok, I'm going to go on Instagram, I'm going to do all these things. It's, you, he come from a he come from a background of, of basically like a, a modern day camera candid camera with him and his brother uh, doing pranks and whatever and built a massive big following up. They then decided they wanted to wanted to do boxing to both of them. Jake Paul's uh, had what is it now? That's his sixth or seventh. It was his seventh, seventh fight. fight yeah. Prior to that, he'd prior to that he'd fought a load of guys which you know were what they were. But he then took out a boxing license. So his last two fights have been. Uh, under uh, you know genuine general generally uh, licensed by uh, commissions, he fought uh, in Tommy who's, who's with us. He, he, with Tommy, have somebody who is a novice who had eight fights, but because of the notoriety or whatever you want to call it, or their following on Instagram, they've managed to and, and TikTok. But I think and so it's more than that, Frank. To... I think that what they, what Johnny's saying, without knowing he's saying it, is that linear broadcasting and the way that it's been done historically, which is you guys with BT or Eddie Home with Sky when he's once there, is now going to be challenged. Where he's built his platform from is YouTube, which is a digital platform. Yes, yeah, And a different no, div digital I, I, viewpoint. I and what he's saying, Frank, is that the next generation of fighters are going to be there and the next generation of promoters, whether it's you with George or whether it's Ben Shalom, have got to embrace this, otherwise you're going to get left behind. Well, we are embracing it. I mean, that, that, that's what I just said. You know, we have... Well, TikTok is not the same thing, one. Frank. We're talking about well, YouTube yeah, but, and yeah, places sorry, like that. But you, but you have to start building from somewhere, and that's what's being mm. done. And what he did out there, I don't think anybody even touched upon it, was that, you know, he's a very bright... He's a very, very bright guy, a very, very clever guy. And what they did out there, they took, they had uh, about three or four camera crews with them, each of them servicing the different 
uh, social media platforms such yeah. as TikTok and yeah. so forth, and ramps absolutely chucking stuff out every day. He's very, very sensible. But you know, you've got I don't know how many. Let's say there are two thousand or fifteen hundred licensed fighters in this country. They're not all going to become overnight TikTok mm. or streaming services. Uh, you know, through streaming services, become stars because of they've got because they're trying to build up big followings on there like first of all they're going to have to fight you've got to look at that fight um, for me that's a fight that took place you might get one or two of those a year if it happens mm. that's about it in my opinion because at the end of the day they are but a high they tide are. rises all boats rounds. frank doesn't it a yeah. high tide I, rises I, all I, boats. I know you would say frank that you've been quick to to see the potential uh on social media of jake paul and uh the incredible the incredible figures they get queensbury's maybe got a bit to do yet though jake Paul and TikTok has got 17.4 million followers. It's a, You've got 14,000. Yeah, but, but sorry. No, we haven't got four. We've got 400,000. Oh, four, I beg but, your pardon. I had that but, wrong. 414,000, Frank. Thank I you. robbed you of 400,000. Yeah, that's not much, is it? You know. But anyway, um, the, the point I'm making, though, is that, you, for example, Floyd Mayweather. John talked about Floyd Mayweather. And he fought a guy from, um, was it the, the another reality show? Geordie Shaw. That died, yeah. that died a death. And that was yeah. on a streaming service and absolutely died a death. They didn't sell any tickets or streaming. And that's Floyd Mayweather, who's a huge name, who's been making a lot of money outside of what you would call normal boxing, you know, appearing in these exhibition fights as a class and whatever they are. That died on its on its backside. So it's not just a matter of mm. oh you're gonna do, you know you're gonna jump into this and it's gonna happen because it didn't happen. It takes a lot of planning. planning. It takes think, a lot of planning. Yeah, I think also Frank, what Johnny was saying was it's a wake up call for boxers today. Like social media plays such a big part of it for boxers today. You, is, need to get involved more on the social like self self promotion basically self selling yeah. themselves. Well, we, yeah. we 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 have in our office we've got three free youngsters and that's what they do for us they're in there working continuously on social media and we bring boxers in and we talk to the boxers and they have to and they have to build it but you have to devote the time and you have to you have to want to do it you can't force people to mm. do things and Did of course you're, everybody's got embraced it. i mean you know when i got when i and i'm an old geezer and when i got into boxing you used to, you, 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 you used to, have to go and watch fights from america I've, in a cinema at four or five yeah, o'clock. Yeah. I, th I think it was yeah. a case of if you Major could fight. I think it was a case of if you could fight before, then you would say it, exactly. it would self promote yourself. But now yeah, that you but know, there was a lot of people. But sorry, there was a lot of people who could fight, and there was a lot of people who fight who didn't who didn't get a look in. I, I, I wish those days would come back, that's Frank. That's that we could go to the cinema at four in the morning and watch a fight from America. There was something magical about that.